My brothers and sisters, Allah warns us in Revelation to stay away from arrogance. Now, if you want to reconnect with Allah, you need to deal with your pride. If you have pride and arrogance, you will not be able to reconnect with Allah or with Revelation. So when you want to become a better person, one of the first things you need to ask yourself, do I have pride and arrogance in me? Pride is not referring to wearing good clothes or having a lovely car, a beautiful home, uh, earning a lot of money, taking pride in your dress. That's not the pride that's prohibited. That is something that is normal and natural. Everyone wants to have good things. Pride is when you despise others, belittle them, when you reject the truth that has come to you just because you think I'm above it. That's it. Then it's called pride. The hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says in a narration that anyone who has an atom's weight worth of pride in their hearts will not enter paradise. Now imagine if that is what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is saying regarding entering paradise, that anyone who has pride in their hearts won't enter paradise. You can imagine how serious it is. So this is why Allah says in the Quran as well, in Surah Al-Isra, وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا Verse number 37, do not walk on earth with arrogance, with pride. When you walk, when you drive, when you are moving on earth, you look at yourself, look at how you address people. Ask yourself, is this okay? Am I coming across as a person who's haughty? If the answer is yes, you have work to do. So ask Allah to protect you from pride. Make a supplication, call out to Allah. Dua every day, oh Allah, protect me from pride. Oh Allah, protect me from haughtiness because Allah is the greatest. So he says, Wala tamshi fil ard. Don't move on the earth. Masha means to walk. But what would be included in that is any form of movement on earth as you drive your car, as you fly your plane, as you're in your helicopter, as you have your little wings and flying around, perhaps as you're on your, uh, um, you know, the, the latest technologies and whatever else it may be. Remember, don't be arrogant. Greet people, fulfill their rights, smile at them at least, or have a good expression. Offer help and assistance where possible and applicable. Make sure that you're a kind person. That's what makes a believer. That's what will make you connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah Almighty to protect us.